In 2008, the FBI knocked on Switzerland's door and asked for legal help. That means a request by the US authorities for the Swiss judiciary to investigate the theft of billions of US dollars by Swiss organized crime. And the Swiss replied, as any criminal would do, I don't know what you're talking about. Over the years, they got bolder with pressure building up, arrogantly saying, do you know who we are? We are Switzerland you're dealing with, and we do what we want, because we are a sovereign state. Thus boldly lying as always and pretending to be innocent, neutral and clean. Though neutral countries would steal from other countries, because that would break their neutrality status as an act of aggression transgressing the borders. In the meantime, they mobilized the Swiss government and the Swiss authorities to give total backup towards big-time organized Swiss crime, showing the world that not only the Swiss banks were in it, but an entire nation. Even the left-wing parties defended the Swiss banking secrecy, which is in fact more right-wing thing to do, thus showing there are no real left-wingers in Switzerland, that it's all part of the show. Then after six years of hard work by the IRS, FBI and US Justice Department, on May 19, 2014, they gave up and admitted guilty of organized crime and billion dollar theft and that they, they've been lying all the time. After six years of lying, Switzerland pleaded guilty of crime, as any criminal knows when it's no more use to lie, as the evidence is so abundant. And it's not, it's not only these past six years Switzerland and the Swiss have been lying, but their entire history is based upon lies, crime, theft and assassinations. During these six years they've tried with an incredible team of super sly Swiss diplomats to stall time and have grass grown over it so everyone would forget about it. But unlike under Swiss sleeper agent president and general Eisenhower, this time the US didn't let go and force Switzerland to stop lying and admit guilt. And I know too what a bunch of evil liars the Swissies are, which now could be witnessed by the whole world. Six long years Swissies have been saying, no we didn't steal, Switzerland is honest, we honest Swiss don't steal. But in the end and after all the lies, Switzerland finally admitted to be a bunch of thieves and big-time liars. Just as they lied about the Nazi gold, the financing of Hitler, the Red Cross Nazi red line, and today's terror, torture and assassinations of immigrants. Now, the Swiss want vengeance as they are very vindictive in their hearts but they don't have the Germans to do it for them anymore. So they went to Iran last Easter and said, hey, let's work something out. We don't like the great American Satan either, because they destroyed our banks and made us look like thieves and liars in the eyes of the world. And if you would have talked to just any Swiss the past six years, you could have felt how they hate the US and the Americans because of the Swiss banks and the IRS. And I even found several appeals for violence against US citizens published in several Swiss newspapers because of the US and the Swiss banks. And I've published some of it on YouTube. Switzerland is a menace to the world and let's hope the US won't stop with this victory but will smoke these Swiss Nazi out of their rat holes. Switzerland a bunch of criminals with the country. Yeah, in this article from 2000, February 2009 from the BBC, the Swiss windbags, they still have a, uh, a very big mouth, you know, and they try and just, as Mr. Hitler said, well, there was their, was their pal, Mr. Hitler, the, Sw the Swiss agent, Mr. Hitler, uh, who said, well, the bigger the lie, the easier the people, you know, accepted and digested so similarly they, they still have a big mouth here in 2009 I'll show that here 
the Swiss windbags under pressure. It says, "This is ah, oh, this is a clear case of power triumphing over the law." Said Gabby Huber. Oh Huber, don't we know that name? Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover, uh, Herbert Hoover. Oh, they did not the 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 Black Tu Black Thursday Black Tuesday in 1929. What well, is another Huber? Member of Parliament. Switzerland's banking secrecy has been put under real pressure. They say, you know, and uh, yeah, Hans. Hans uh, Hans Geiger, a professor, he, saw, he was so astonished the unbelievable weakness of the government and Tony Brunner, you know Brunner, like the Brunner they had, we had in the concentration camp, a commandant, and he's the president of the right wing Swiss People's Party, he said, we are a sovereign state and other countries should not be able to tell us what to do, he said, it's time to enshrine banking secrets in our constitution. And now, six years later, they admitted they stole the money, just like a thief. Here, they, these criminals, they're still trying, trying to pull it off here, six years ago. Big mouth, windbags, you know, and they lied. They just lied all the time. Well, there's a lot more in it here. They have been lying and lying and lying with, with a very sly team of diplomats is this one here but it has come out now that they lied they've been lying all the time no matter what they said and here in Wikipedia it shows when it started 2008 and uh, well, I, I put the article in the link so you can read it for yourself if you want yeah Switzerland the organized criminals with the country I'll put it in the link too so here too, 2009. I've been following this for uh, six years, and I was hoping the Americans would uh, uh, would would do it. You know, here again, the right wing, the right wing Swiss People's Party. Tony Brunner. He said, "We are a sovereign state, and other countries should not be able to tell us what to do." It's you know. So here they still trying to pull it through. You know, with with sheer bluff. They're just bluffing, you know, and, and lying, stalling time. We are so clean and neutral. Well, in the end, they, they admitted they stole everything. So they've been lying for six years. They've been lying for all, through all their history. In, in About the Second World War, they've always been lying. Here are the proofs of, that they have been lying all the time these six years. The proofs are here. The world has seen it, what a bunch of liars they are. 